Hi everyone and welcome back to our KSP career series. In today's episode we are launching the Moon Lander which is packed with a lot of interesting goodies. We have Stepan Kruchitkin who is the pilot and Svetlana Oprichunka who is the scientist. And we have loads of things to do on Moon. So stick around, this is gonna be awesome. By the way, we are packing a lot of science we are have some science experiments and most importantly we have a rover which we will be deploying somewhere on the surface of moon and i'm hoping to be able to actually drive it a little bit around and you know just have a chance to enjoy it uh, for those of you that actually have a chance to watch to the end i have a small bonus things for you which means I will be linking an episode, if you haven't watched it already, to a episode where I'm actually building this launcher vehicle, rover and everything else. But without further ado, let's get right into the meat of things. We are circularizing at a 100 km orbit, which is pretty much our standard thing that we are kind of doing. And it will take us some 13... 50 meters per second, which is no problem. This rocket has 1659 meters per second of delta V. So all in all, it should be no problem whatsoever when it comes to circularizing. There we go, pointing our nose prograde and getting ready for the 48 second burn. All right, there we go. And the burn will be coming in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and ignition. Beautiful plume from the Falcon 9. And as you can tell from what I have deployed, I have the probe core on the Falcon 9 and I have also the parachute. So I will be hoping to recover the booster. So far we haven't been very successful in that. Let's see if our luck changes today. There we go, and all right, so 104 by 80 kilometers orbit, let's decouple the stage, and we are now 105 by 85, all right, and let's see how we go with the booster. The only problem, the bane of my life, is that I always seem to be recovering those boosters when it's dark. I'll probably gonna jack the ambient boost by a little bit, okay, so... First thing off, it's aerodynamically a little bit unstable, which means it went flippity flip flip. All right, I'm just trying to see if I can bleed off some energy and oh. Well, let's see if we can recover something. Guess not. Well, there it is a future attempt for the next time. At least we'll get a chance to see some rapid unplanned disassembly. There we go. Rod is fun. In KSP, we love those. Anyway. We are burning to get our uh, ejection burn going from Kerbin to the moon. And it will be some, I think it's around six to 700-ish meters per second. Uh, the currently we're running it on Poodle, which has, I think, more than enough. So there is no problem there. The only problem is that it has a low thrust to weight with of 0 0.7. It's doable and it's not overly bad for example like something like ion engines and other kind of things but we will get to that in more advanced series later on there we go uh on the way there i decided to pop in the gravity scan magnetometer report after all i'm playing with kerbalism so every ounce of science helps and it is really important that we actually get a chance to collect as much of it as possible so Bye bye, Kerbin, and we are on our way to the moon this time. Typically, I'm more of a Minmus kind of guy. I always go to Minmus because it's simpler, it's easier, it's nicer. But moon is also fun, and it, there is something you know with the, when it comes to the connection to the real, our moon. It feels like you know we're there, we're getting there. So I think it's really important. All right, making a circularization burn and turning on the scan set. Why, you might ask? Because I want to be exploring, and first of all, we sent them, you know, scanset satellite around Moon, hopefully to get us some, you know, planetary data, and then what I'm trying to do is actually to get into the biomes. Now, the mission that we're going for today is also, one of the missions, is to collect a moon rock. And moon rocks are available in craters, which means 
I'm going to go into this crater, which we're just flying over, as you can see uh, on the right hand side. I think it's that east side crater. So let us, you know, slowly decelerate. We have consumed the transfer stage and we are on the lander stage. And here you get a chance to see our little dinky rover that we will be deploying. Yes. As I said, this episode is full of surprises. So we have performed the deorbit burn and we are getting slowly into the east. I, I don't know if it's east far side. No, it's east crater, not east far side, east crater. There we go. Okay, and now we're on to the landing burn. Stefan, I hope you know what you're doing. Otherwise, this is going to be a really short episode. Anyway, let's do the burn and we are descending ever so slightly. We have tons of thrust uh, to weight, 6.5 and a lot of delta V. So I'm not overly concerned about the landing and look at those big Falcon landing legs. Oh, I just love them. All right. Landing ever so carefully. I am playing this at two times acceleration because simply I don't have the, you know, the Kanyig is to actually land at this accelerated pace. Let's go and slowly, there we go, decreasing our service velocity. Actually here I'm looking at the impact time and I'm just cautiously decelerating. Another way would be if you watched your shadow, that's another option, but I'm just looking at my impact time and my altitude and just making sure that I slowly but securely, see, there's the shadow increase the thrust to reduce the surface negative velocity around one point something would be nice for a nice smooth touchdown there we go Stepan and Svetlana thank you for landing on the moon and let's de ex deploy the experiments that we have turn on the lights and see the rovers dinky lights are actually here and now let's climb down and Svetlana you're gonna plant a flag Okay guys, so at this point, I'm gonna shamelessly ask you if you really enjoy this video, hit that like button so that actually it spreads to more people, that more people get a chance to enjoy this roving on the moon as we are now. So, hit that like button and I hope that if this isn't your first video, hit that subscribe as well if you would like to get notified when I do more of this type of adventures. Okay, with that thing being said, let's do Let's make a somewhat interesting name. Looking for Moonrock. We were here. Yes, I know. Very innovative. What can I tell you? Look at this. All right. Lots of things to do. We are not done yet. First, let's decouple the rover. There we go. Let's see if we can control it. By the way, this rover has a Bon Voyage controller. So I'm hoping that I will be able to use it to do some roving when I'm off camera, you know? Visit other biomes, provide science. I'm really hoping that it will be able to extend the antenna. You, you can see the Bon Voyage controller radar rotating back. Let's collect the laser data because we last time we were here, we didn't actually collect that laser data. 18 science, see? Very nice. Good. Seismic scan running, temperature scan. Well, I mean, some of those things we already did. So with that being said, now it's time to deploy the breaking ground experiments that we have brought along because we will be setting up a small outpost as well. Well, hardly an outpost, more like a set of experiments that will be permanently locked on the surface of Moon and hopefully doing and sending us some science over time. Svetlana, you are getting some radiation. I hope not a whole lot. I'm a little bit worried about your health, but first things first, we're gonna remove your parachute because you really won't be needing it here. And let's deploy this, I mean, uh, base component. I don't know what this is called. This is, I think, the main, you know, hub from which the experiments are being done, the power is connected and all that jazz. So, there we go. Placing the part. Finding a nice place. It's important that it's nice for a selfie later on. So, hit it. There we go. And it deploys. Beautiful. Okay, time to deploy other stuff and I'm gonna be accelerating a little bit because let's face it you want to see when I'm deploying cool stuff not needing to go back and forth like for the 20 times I don't find that particularly interesting content there we go solar panels radio dish so that we can radio in our findings back home 
I will be placing two more solar dishes because, you know, Svetlana is a scientist, she is not an engineer. So once she deploys the experiments, they will not be producing that much more power. So I think it's good to be a little bit on the redundancy side. By the way, how many, how many solar panels do you guys deploy when you go and deploy like one or two experiments with communications part? Let me know in the comments below. I would really like to know. All right. So I think we're deploying the final one that we have, and that's the mystery goo with a camera. Think of it like permanent goo selfie. Look at it. We will be monitoring every single aspect. If a goo, you know, smiles, farts, anything, we'll do it right. So, time for Stefan to also join in for the selfie. After all, we did deploy all these experiments, we did put the rover, and it would really be a shame not to take a very nice selfie. There we go. Smile. There we go. Oh, that's a keeper. All looking in the distance, all very serious. Yeah, right. All right, time to search for that moon rock. And Svetlana, she, she took her jetpack back and decided to go a little bit flippity flip on the moon surface. She eventually, after some searching, found a rock, which we're gonna be picking up. I don't know how, I mean, granted, it's only partial of um, the gravity and it should be pretty easy, but digging it out seems like a pretty big hassle. It's a big rock. And let's go back and Svetlana, you pick up that rock. And after that, we're going for a roving adventure. Yes. Oh, I uh, actually, you know, I'm a selfie sucker. So I'm actually going to use this opportunity to take a very, very nice selfie. Svetlana, yeah, I know. What would I do for a nice selfie camera? Are you using GoPro or something? I don't know. There we go. Have a nice smile. Thank you. Yeah, love the smile. Seriously. All right. Going around, bippity bippity boop, and then we shall be changing the angle a little bit for the final selfie. Oh, that's much better. There we go. All right. Time to get our Kerbals back into the craft so they don't die from extreme radiation, which can be happening. You never know. A solar storm might hit later on, and I don't want them to be on the surface after all. There we go. After all, you know, the cabin is exposed to more shielding and everything like that. So, time to get roving. Finally, you say. I hear you. Let's get this rover and let it let us take it all the way further and into the unknown. See, it's pretty small. It's dinky and I actually love how it's done. I haven't been testing it on. I've tested it a little bit on Kerbin when I was designing it. A uh, link to the episode will be provided in the end screen of the video. So after you watch this video, you'll have a great chance to check it out. And here is me actually struggling with Bon Voyage. I don't know what I did wrong. So if I go here, systems check, pick on the map, I want it to go above the crater. And then I tell it, go. And it says it needs at least three operable wheels. What are you talking about? I have six. Uh, guys, if you know or some of you are playing with Bon Voyage, let me know in the comments what was what I doing wrong. So I ended up driving it manually, but if I didn't, I wouldn't have a chance to enjoy all these beautiful vistas. Look at this. It's darn amazing. Well, you know, it really is awesome. So I'm going to invite you here to once again hit that like button if you're really enjoying this our little adventure so that more people get a chance to enjoy it. So. We are stopping now and because we are out of the crater, we're in the highlands, so we're going to be performing a few experiments, if you don't mind, like temperature scan and uh, I think uh, seismic scan or radiation scan. So one, those are once those are done, I think I will be taking my Kerbals back home for science shingles. Let's see how much science we're able to get. The experiments will remain there and they will hopefully be executing, I hope at least. And picking up the landing gear, Svetlana and Stepan, there we go. Look how far our rover has gone. That's a quite a, you know, roving trip, if you ask me. There we go. Beautiful launch up and away. Awesome. Nice screenshot, actually, that is. Now, 
we are, will be circularizing our approach pretty soon in roughly 50 seconds. I just want to deploy again magnetometer and RPWS if we can to gather a little bit more science. After all, every ounce of science counts. There we go, three, two, one, and ignition. Beautiful. Beautiful views, yes. All right, we are in the orbit, and now one final thing which remains is actually try and return to back to Kerbin, find a good periapsis, and hopefully not burn up in the atmosphere on the return. So fiddling a little bit with the periapsis, trying to get it to a roughly 30-40-ish area, and then, you know, doing the burn in 3, 2, 1. There we go, 200 meters per second burn, as you can see we have 500 meters per second, which is more than enough in our core stage, or actually our ascent, return, landing stage, we'll call it whatever you want. And we have a little bit in the capsule itself, because I'm playing with this SpaceX, you know, Dragon capsule, which has this Super Draco engines if we ever need to use them. Yes, uh, moon batteries are almost empty. No more control on the rover. Uh, you don't say. I mean, you, you have sunlight, maybe it's because it's been chugging on in the experiments, I wouldn't know. Well, regardless, it's time to be coming back to Kerbin, so orient our craft, orbit retrograde, pull in all the experiments, not that we'll be needing them, transfer all the signs that we can into the core capsule, and then we shall be performing the landing. Okay, there was the camera giving me some flippy time. We have 430 meters per second, so once we are entering the atmosphere, I'm gonna burn them to decelerate ever so carefully. So transfer the data here so we don't lose it. And then I'm gonna be staging this bad boy. Bye bye And thank you! Hopefully this won't blow up in our face, or at least I'm hoping it won't. There we go. Oh! Explosions! Well, they're the integral part of the KSP experience. I mean, what would be KSP without explosions? But apparently not much has gone, you know, banana. So maybe at some future I could actually be returning the second stage. Hmm, should I do the starship thing? I wonder. Alright. With the re-entry heating complete, our capsule is slowly descending towards the ground, and by slowly I mean supersonic still, but um, now we're gonna subsonic, there we go. We can be starting to, you know, hit our parachutes, first the drogue chutes, which will be decelerating us carefully, and then the main chutes, and then, but we're still going at 16 meters per second surface velocity, wow. Let's fire up a Super Draco engines a little bit. Oh, and I flipped the capsule, of course I did. Yeah, uh, actually I do want to be making, since we ended landed up in Badlands, I would really like to actually get some uh, external experiments, so how can I do that? Shall I rotate the capsule? Flip it, come on, you can do it! Oh boy. Oh boy, come on, can we do it without blowing us ourselves up? There we go, good enough, thank you. Stepan, go EVA and get a surface sample and uh, yeah, like this. It's interesting that you can actually get cheese the game by doing a surface sample when you're actually sampl sampling the capsule. So, once we returned everything, we have gotten boatloads of science. Look at this, we have 469 science, and we will be spending that in the next episode. And have, we have gotten some very nice contract complete. Moonstone is done. And look at all those fantastic ribbons. Oh, and we will be spending these signs in the next episode. However, uh, if you like the today's episode, you might want to check out how I've built the craft, and I will be providing the link in the top right corner that you see on the screen. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.